So if we're going to succeed at life, we need to be seeking results in everything that we do, no matter what. Investing really is no different before we enter into um, an investing strategy and start to implement a plan, we really need to understand what type of results we're going after. I'm going to earmark five. And if you come up short and you're only realizing three of these, then you're not realizing my entire program. It's just that simple. I come from a perspective of someone who's invested most of his life. Um, I know what works and I know what don't doesn't work. For some people, things that don't work can work. It's that simple. But in all of my experience, these are the five that really float to the top as far as results that you should be seeking. And this is applicable to the masses. There's no doubt in my mind. If you're a new investor out there and you're 20 years old, these results can apply to you. Seek them. If you're 50, you're looking to get in, involved in investing for the first time, these results are applicable to you as well. Um, these do not uh, discriminate. These do not alienate. And they are in fact applicable to all people who want to acknowledge that these are in fact the top five results that you should be seeking and in investing. Right off the top is capital appreciation. Why invest? We invest to buy into stock and have that stock increase in value over time. Very, very simple. And I get a questioned all the time. When should you ever sell a stock? I think if you're starting as an investor, that should be the last thing on your mind. As a matter of fact, you can actually go into investing with the intention of never selling. Never. It's one of the worst things that I've ever done in my life. Not only selling stock, but selling real estate. If you're looking to gain assets and you're looking to build up assets over the course of your life, Look into buying into those stocks that have paid shareholders back for 20, 30, 40, even 50 years, right? Look at your dividends list. Seek out some of those results paths that I'm going to talk about here. But make no mistake, Warren Buffett said, if you're going to invest, don't lose money. It's the number one rule of investing. And that doesn't mean that you're going to invest in a stock and have them go up every single day after you invest in them. As a matter of fact, the majority of my stocks, I fail to find a perfect entry in. Okay. So be prepared. All right. But over time, over time, that being the key, capital appreciation is the, are those results that we're seeking to buy a stock and have that stock appreciate in value over time. The next is dividends. It's a free payment. Okay. And I typically do not use the word guarantee in investing, nor do I use the word free in investing. A dividend is just about as close to those two things as I can possibly earmark in investing. And that's why a lot of investors, savvy investors alike, will seek out a partial, if not a holistic dividend strategy uh, to go after. Because there's been companies out there for decades that have rewarded shareholders for taking positions in their company and participating in the company's growth uh, and success over time. And there's companies out there with such wide moats, it's really hard to imagine our lives without some of these companies. We talk about these companies all the time on the channel. Dividends, it's an absolute, absolute result. The next is tax protection. How do you gain that? It's the very nature of the account that you choose, right, to seek out your tax protection. The Roth IRA will allow you to do that. So will a traditional, okay? It'll allow you to contribute dollars to that under a tax umbrella to be eligible for withdraw both contributions and capital appreciated dollars at 59 and a half. Tax protection, if you're not seeking it out, you're not getting it. It's that simple. The next is to lower or eliminate fees. This is the wealth preservation piece that I talk about all the time on the channel. You have to seek this out. If you're just frivolously throwing money at mutual funds and you have no idea what expense ratio is, you have no idea what you're paying to dollar cost average to your broker, you have no idea what the flat fee is that you're paying to your broker every month to even have the honor of contributing to your own investment program, you need to take a second look. 
This is a resulting factor, and it is, in fact, in the top five of most important things that you need to look at to maximize those results that we're going after. If you fall short in any of these categories, the end results will, in fact, suffer. The final thing on the list that we want to seek out, it escapes a lot of investors, and that is diversification. The ability to invest in markets and over time enjoy the historical truth that for the most part, good companies and good companies in good markets increase slightly to the right and upward over time. And it's that very rate of return year over year that all the time gets missed. I want to buy the market when it's low. I want to buy at the perfect time. I can beat the market. These are all misconceptions about the stock market that all too often lead new investors and even savvy investors that have been doing this a long time in the dust, humbled, crawling back to the fundamentals that I'm teaching upon right now to render the best results. Guys, if you appreciate the message, I want to make sure and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video and share the message with those folks out there that can benefit from the information. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in the message and good luck in your investment future.